Welcome to Rich Metzger's Let's Play of Deus Ex Human Revolution, Part 2, Prologue and Detroit. Alright, let's get into this. New game. Give me a challenge. We're playing the Director's Cut. No mods on Steam. This game came out in 2011. Is everything... ...in place? Sorry. Almost. What do you mean, almost? I have spoken with Montreal. The broadcast satellites are ours when we need them. A few weeks of discomfort and the public will be primed for our recall. And the clinics? We control the bus trains. They will do as we say. I still think we should wait for the referendum. We can't afford to wait. America's Science Board convenes next month. But the mood among the delegates is shifting. I'm positive that given more time... No. By going public with this discovery, Saref is forcing our hand. change overnight just because David Sarif wills it. Besides, we can do nothing until our biochip is ready. I thought you said you were close. Finding the correct nerve interface has proven more challenging than anticipated. Fortunately, thanks to David, I now know where to look. What is she wearing? severely restrict efforts to alter the human body's abilities. This what kind of world are we living in? I kind of like it, to be honest. That his firm may have discovered a way to make human-controlled evolution available to all. Sarif Industries researchers are set to arrive in Washington tomorrow to defend their claim. But for tonight, this is Eliza Kassan reporting to you live from Haiti. With all due respect, Major, I'll expect two security details waiting for us, on the tarmac. No, we won't be going through the terminal, it's too exposed. Yes. I'm glad you understand. Good night, idiot. Something wrong? No, not for me it isn't. But you keep pulling on that necklace, Dr. Reed, and you're gonna break it. Come on, Meg. You've defended your research before. That was different. Then it was all just theories. But this discovery, Adam? It's big. Kepler big. Rosetta Stone big. So, what's the problem? They'll want to know how I found it. Megan, we're leaving for DC and... Adam, you're there. Good, good. You need something, boss? Yeah. I want to go over your security plans for Washington before we leave. You and your team ready to go, Megan? Almost, David. We're just rechecking data. Well, make it snappy. We have to actually be in Washington before you can dazzle all those federally appointed know-it-alls. I hate it when he does that. Come on, I'll walk you part way. So, the character models are really awesome in this. It's 2011, but I think everything looks really good. I know this is the director's cut where they uh, improve the visuals. But compared to like Fallout, Bethesda stuff, or uh, even Bioware to an extent, these character models look really good. I'm going to read these, but I'm not going to read them out loud because they're so verbose. Please, Adam, I'm nervous enough. So 
it seems like we have a population relying on this neuroplysine or whatever. Are you coming? In a second. And I thought women were the ones who kept men waiting. So you got kind of like a, a primitivist versus transhumanist dichotomy going on. You know, you really should get in the habit of locking your computer, Meg. I know, I know. Frank gets on me about it, too. thought Kubrick faked the moon landing. Please, Adam, I'm nervous enough. Uh, too bad I can't hack her computer while she's standing there. Let's go. This lab is for authorized personnel only. What did you mean back there, Meg? About how you found it? Nothing. It's just my nerves talking. Do I love her jacket? There's something the I should know on it looks sweet. about this place, about Seraph. Megan. Hold on. We're still getting biochemical fluctuations across the artificial flow zones. Okay. But the increased neuropeptides coming from the PDOT cluster could be throwing off your calibrations. Right. I'll double check that. I can't believe you were asking about David. You've been here long enough to know of... Eric! You wouldn't be avoiding me, would you? I wouldn't dream of it, Dr. Reed. I think I know why Declan's readings are off. Too many peptides? I'm thinking the glial tissue breakdown we noticed after splicing in the repressive protein might be the cause. If we had a better cytometer... We might get a more accurate reading that confirms my theory. I'll ask David times. to consider it. Well, if he orders one from Page Industries, maybe they'll throw in another cappuccino maker. You overthink everything, Adam. The work we're doing is good. We're helping people overcome their physical limitations. Yeah, except most of our clients seem to be DOD. You're doing it's good. It's not all Just military. another hour to go. We work with teachers, doctors, construction Make that guy <gasps> run an hour on the treadmill. Those boxes are worth more than your salary. Jesus. Sorry. Sorry. Nia, you almost ready? Washington? Huh. Ah, Dr. Reed. This is General O'Neill. Dr. Sevchenko was telling me you've made progress on the Typhoon. Yes, thanks to Vasily, actually. As I was saying, sir, the Typhoon uses a modified combat chassis like That's the one I'm two characters wearing. with robot arms. But I've improved arms. its design or using kind of shaped arms. microchargers to propel the steel balls. And the backblast problem? Solved through kinetic bleeders in the Ogden. Here, watch. Go ahead. Noise. Impressive. How soon till it's ready? I'm afraid I have to run, but Vasily has all the details, General. Of course. We still have some work to do to improve the time. You're right. The teacher would just love having one of those things. You're missing the point. Defense contracts keep us afloat, but neural augmentations that make you think faster react quicker. They can really improve a life, everybody's lives. David's talked about it for years. Yeah, he is a talker. He's a good man. Admit it, Adam. A part of you likes him. Oh, I like everyone, Dr. Reed. Yeah, right. I think he's gonna run into a lot of people he doesn't like. How far are you going? Diane's office. I forgot to leave her a key so she can walk Kubrick. 
He's gotten big, you know. Keeps knocking over all my plants. Did you destroy that vase yet? I moved it. And I fenced it in the yard. Like you always said you were going to. Yeah. Never got around to that. <laughs> Sorry. Me too. About a lot of things. Adam, I... There's something I... Say it. Good evening. <sighs> this Richard. Jackass. So, are we all ready for the trip? There's Farida. I'd better hurry. See you at the helipad, Adam. Sure. Did I uh, interrupt something, Jensen? You fixed that firewall yet? You don't fix an entire firewall. You find a loophole and plug it. Then did you plug it? Yes, I did. You want to know how? Oh, wait, I forgot. Ex-cop. I doubt you'd understand. Ex-SWAT, and you'd be surprised. Sarah, nice to see you too. Athena. She wants me to show her how to track our scientists' implanted locator devices. In case your security plans in Washington don't measure up. They will. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you both. Go right in, Adam. He's waiting. This is the newest in encrypted GPL trackers, Athena. It transmits data to our dedicated satellites every 10 feet. I don't care what it takes. I want you, Darrow, in Washington, by my side. The man doesn't jump for anyone. He's a Nobel Prize winner. Senators love this guy, Lyle. The hearings will go much smoother with him there. Big day for us tomorrow. Everything in place? Yes, sir. Capitol Police will escort us to the Hill, and then Federal Protection Services takes over. Good, good. How's our girl holding up? She's nervous. All she has to do is show him her research. She explained it to you? Not really into the whole science thing, boss. It's incredible. All those purists out there accusing us of tampering with the natural order when all Megan's done is figure out how to unlock the potential that exists within our own DNA. It's safer Seems and easier than anything enough. you Darrow ever did. Environmental malfunction. Laboratory subsection six. All lab chiefs, please report in. We better not take any chances. Not tonight. Use my elevator to get down there. You know the code? Yeah, 0451. Let me know what you find. Athena, get someone to shut off the damn racket. Yes, sir. Richard, where's Megan? She reported in yet? Her GPL implant shows her moving through the microchem labs. I think she's running. Damn. Must have been a serious equipment failure. Can you get eyes on her? I'm trying, but the IntelliCams aren't responding. There's interference coming from somewhere. Find out what's happening, Jensen. Hurry! Richard? Richard! Nice gun. Couldn't help him. <clears throat> There's no more med kits in this one. These poor guys don't regenerate their health like I do. Gracious. Oh.
Ryan's still alive, yeah. I don't think there's anything I can pick up. This is just the prologue. Stun grenades are pretty harmless as long as there's not multiple foes at different angles on you. Okay, I gotta get these three guys. I gotta take this angle, it might be better.
CT probe shows the bullet caused severe hematoma. We need to repair that artery. I think that's a pretty good intro. Little sexual subliminal. Because uh, obviously uh, on, Adam and Megan us. were together at some point. Kind of like a RoboCop deal. Mass Effect 2 did it later with Shepard. Give him the info link. Fine. Give me the telecom package. I'm sure there's other examples. Darth Vader. sunglasses of all time i mean adam's pretty cool jc from the first adam, one it's david you in the building was he was pretty Just robotic adding megan as so a romantic soon, but, uh, interest we've got a situation I'm makes adam a seem a little more human Meet me at plus the, the sweet character model i have to see pritchard first something's wrong with my retinal enhancement i kind of like uh, in the tech lab Make it quick. People's lives are at stake. <clears throat> I like JC's voice. Adam sounds a little too much like Christian Bale's Batman. Let's see, I gotta hit that objective. I know, but... but yeah, Adam seems a little more human, like a Why real is character. David keeping the SWAT team from going in right away? Doesn't he remember the last attack? You can't compare the two. Those guys were obviously military. These ones are just vandals. Vandals with guns and bullets that kill people. Look, David cares about his people, but he needs to protect his client's interests. Don't worry, I'm sure he's got a plan. Can I hack stuff? Yeah, out of four, that's for sure. bar Hell yeah
I wonder if these little books are based on real studies. I mean, some of them obviously aren't, but this one mentions the 90s. But it's a fictional character in 2013. About time. What happened? You get stuck in an air duct on the way over? Yeah, nice to see you too, Francis. Something's wrong with my retinal display. Can you fix it? If it's what I think it is, probably. Of course, it might seem. <laughs> Looks like your left and right imaging processors weren't completely in sync. But don't worry, your sentinel health implant will kick in soon, repairing any damage that might have caused. Your retinal display should be fine now. Its recognition software won't be picking up hostiles yet, but you should be seeing radar and targeting reticules. Biomedical data, too, if you're in pain. Right. We done here? Because Seraph is waiting for me at the helipad. I know. Radicals have broken into our manufacturing plant and taken hostages. Maybe this time you'll actually save people. If you got a problem with me, Pritchard, why don't you just say it and get it over with? Why no, Jensen? I don't have a problem with you. If anything, I blame myself. The mighty Pritchard blaming himself. <laughs> That's gotta be a first. I'm the one who told Sarif we needed a physical security team to protect us. If he'd read my report closely enough. Wait a second. Are you saying it was your idea to hire me? Not you, Jensen. I wanted Dynacor, Sharp Edge, or Bell Tower. All the top private security contractors were on my list. But Sarif wanted somebody in-house. And so did Dr. Reed. I suggest you leave Megan out of this. Why, Jensen? It's no secret how close the two of you were. And let's face it, you'd just been fired from SWAT for that massacre in Mexican town. No one was about to hire you. You really have to stop getting your news from those Pikes blogs, Francis. They only confuse you. The point is, if Sarif had listened to me, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But Megan, God love her, always did have Sarif's ear. Sarif's ear is going to be hearing a report about violence in the workplace if you keep this up. You really feel like continuing? Point taken. As enjoyable as this little chit-chat has been, isn't Sarif waiting for you at the helipad? Yeah, he is. Let's -a go. Oh man, look at this. I didn't think you'd see this. I want to know more about that Mexitown uh, massacre. Adam, how close are you to the helipad? Almost there. Good. Because SWAT's about to turn this into a PR nightmare. Meet me in the chopper. I'll brief you as we go. Jensen, nice surprise. Sarif is bringing in the big guns. Welcome back, Jensen. <laughs> They're like in sync. You guys work together too much. I can't believe this. Why the hell is anyone attacking us? Do we even know We're who these guys are yet? yet? I'm getting the feeling someone has. Adam, are you here because of Milwaukee Junction? Jensen? Apparently a group of vandals broke in. What are you doing here? I wouldn't have put you... Seems like I'm a, like a well-known guy around here.
Welcome back, Jensen. Didn't think we'd see you around here for a while yet. You know how it goes, Malik. Duty calls. Don't I know it. I was in my wingsuit halfway to the top of the Renaissance Center when I got the 911. But you... Six months is a hell of a short time to come back from the dead. You sure you're ready for this? Only one way to find out. Roger that. The boss is already on board, arguing with the DPD's tactical response team. They've got the plant surrounded, but Mr. Seraph wants you to go in first. Are you all set here? Because the sooner we take off, the better it will be for everyone. 